I did not know what I was getting myself into <laughs> trying to film this. I thought it was going to be short and sweet and to the point and, you know, not get into spe to specifics and stuff like that. Two hours worth of footage later, I'm like, how am I going to do this? <laughs> so I decided to um, cut it into two parts, um, part one and part two. <laughs> Both of which are probably going to be too long. <laughs> and then also if you missed the room tour where I, I stated where I got like all the storage type things, lighting, all that kind of stuff, I will link that video down below as well for you guys. It'll probably answer a lot of your questions pertaining to that. And I figured I would just go all out and show you guys everything in the room and let it all out. <laughs> um, keep in mind when you're watching, I am a self-proclaimed makeup junkie slash addict slash collector. I've been like collecting makeup since I was probably 17 18 years old um, I'm 30 now if you don't know so makeup for me is just a real love um, and it's what it's one of my my hobbies <laughs> so if you guys want a real in-depth uh, disclaimer go watch another collection video and they'll give you a good four minute one uh, I concur <laughs> otherwise I'll just roll with the fact that um, I film this for you guys because you guys really wanted to see it so and then as well as you know I, I thought I went through everything kind of fast I guess but if there's things that you see in the collection that you wish to see more of um, you know as far as a collection goes like all of these or all of those like l let me know in the comments down below maybe like do those little thumb up guys so that I can you know know what people really want to see maybe I'll turn it into like a um, collection series video or something and get more into depth with certain things that you guys want to see it's up to you guys though but uh feel free to let me know down below and then you also see some pretty old pieces there there's not too many really old ones but a few old pieces of makeup which are nostalgic pieces for me I don't really reach for them or anything like that they're still in great condition and fully usable because um, store your makeup in a cool dry place uh, powders and stuff like that last for a really long time so so without further ado let's just jump right into the video the first part of the video <laughs> so I'll just start at the beginning of the room like like how I started with my room tour and I'll just I'll just work my way around this way for you guys so let's just start off right here I took this out of the box because otherwise I wouldn't be able to show it to you this is the Laura Mercier Petite Bonbon um, holiday set that came out now I'm having a hard time opening it okay there we go that looks like that which embarrassingly enough I haven't even used it yet <laughs> I should probably do that and then this right here is a Kat Von D train case that came out at Sephora a couple years ago, which I am I'm dying for them to come out with um, some more of these because there are two, and there is the other one. But you guys want to see what how it looks inside? This is both of these are actually very very well used on my part, but they come with keys too. Like, see so you can, yeah, very well used train cases, but um, just beautiful detailing. I love these. Like, I just really love them. They're kind of heavy, but oh well. Um, and then backing up down here, I'm not going to go into all of that. I have alternatively um, perfume in those right there. And then like that is some nail polish remover and cotton rounds. And then that's empties that I need to do. Like makeup bags, um, stuff that I need to haul in there. That one sticks out a little bit further because the light right there, the plug-in is behind it. But you guys, this is where the majority of my brushes are right now. This is embarrassing too, kind of. <laughs> yeah, they need to be washed. That's a Victoria's Secret bag full of brushes. But if you guys waited for me to wash all those brushes to film this video, it, it would it would probably be a while. That's it's a terrible bad habit of mine. Um, there's the Urban Decay the Motherload palette, which I do have a whole video on that. If you guys want to see it, I guess I'll link it down below. And then this here is the Marc Jacobs lip set that came out during Christmas time, right there, which I. You know, I really need to remove those and just like leave this thing on display or something because they, they get forgotten about back here. I should move them in with the rest of my lipsticks, but that's that. And then here's the other train case from Kat Von D. It's just, it's a, it's a work of art, man. I just, I love them and they're big. They hold a lot of makeup. So that's that. Um, you guys have seen the, um, polish racks there. Um, that is a Louis Vuitton smaller makeup bag right there and this horse here was sent to um sent to me for my birthday by my buddy mrs Arai here on youtube and i love it it's super cute um what's this oh this is my louis vuitton train case that i got in vegas last year 
this is this one here believe it or not this is an old school Kat Von D train case and it's probably my most let's grab it it's probably this is a Sephora one but that's probably my most used train case I use it all the time there's a brush roll in there for my brushes but anybody have this <laughs> I love that and that's in there because I, I do use that one and then down here alternatively next to these little tubs are there's three smaller Sephora train cases which if they come out with another nice little cute one printed I'll probably I don't know replace it over there so that it's even <laughs> that's a jewelry box my mom got me for Christmas and then I just think that these boxes here um, that's a knit a porter box and then a Chanel box that I ordered makeup in and then um, perfume perfume and more perfume <laughs> so that's the um, back wall and then over here is this is the blue the blue toolbox so here are the tart uh, these are tart what are they Tara they are the cheeks <laughs> the cream cheek stain blushes that, that um, newly came out and then this is a bite lip collection that came out for the holidays I keep it in the box so that I can see the colors a little bit better because the actual tubes don't have the color on them they just have little stickers that are very prone to falling off and then it's gonna, it'd be, you'd have to open up all of them to see the colors here's a Sephora um, brush roll there's some sparkly deals back there this is a IT Cosmetics brush deal that I just think that they're pretty and then two Tarina Tarantino sparkly things you like squeeze the little thing and sparkles shoot out at you <laughs> which I think that they're they're rather awesome and then back here these ones are the older no these are the new Revlon matte balms and lacquer balms in here these are the older the Revlon lip stains chroma which I really like those I love the way they smell some more random lip crayon products um, buxom the la matte and the lac from L'Oreal that were like really hard to find and get some Kat Von D liquid lipsticks these these need to be shaken before you use them they separate really easy and then over here is some CoverGirl balms uh, lip liners mostly NYX lip liners back there um, Tarte lip surgeons things <laughs> um, of different various versions and then these are Clinique chubby sticks um, more lip liners so once is one of the new Tarte lip surgeons power pigments uh, and a new Tarte gloss these are new that are coming out I got that off in a kit off of QVC um, let me see here these ones over here are random I think let's see here yeah wet and wild NYC and what are these ones oh Jordana um, chubby crayon lip guys <laughs> uh, these are two Cora's lip but Cora's lip butters and then these are oh, my lovers <laughs> I just really love them these are the M the M balms right here which if you guys do do M I'd peel the stickers off the box and like put them on the bottom you'll see on the lipsticks these actually you can see through the tube but um, yeah maybe I should talk about that when we get to the lipsticks <laughs> um, here's another what are these things lip surgeons lip shines yeah I just I'm just gonna refer to them as lip surgeons things <laughs> these are the urban decay super saturated I think the majority of them came in kits except for maybe that one these ones here are NARS satin lip pencils these are the ones that came out for spring and then these are some other stick lipsticks from NARS pure matte I think both of those came in a kit as well so that's the top of the blue one and now we'll open up the first drawer here and so this is what I mean by you know I can totally you guys will be able to see throughout the deal I can totally cram more stuff in the drawers it's really spread out for organization easy finding easy visibility and stuff like that so you guys will notice that I'm sure throughout the, the video but these are the L'Oreal infallibles which I adore they're they're messy <laughs> as well as those over there which I'll show you in a minute um 
but they are beautiful on the eyes. And then these ones here are by Femme Couture. I just got these recently at Sally's. They're packaged very much like the L'Oreal ones. Um, I haven't used them yet though, so. <laughs> but these watch out pretty similar to the L'Oreal Infallibles, which I really, really love the L'Oreal Infallibles. These are two Dior, what are these called? Dior, Dior Show Fusion Mono Shadows. This one is from the spring one. It's called Rose, Rose, and then this one here is in Shimmer, Shimmery. And then over here, these are my lovers. My other lovers. Those are lovers, those are lovers. They're, you guys are going to see a lot of lovers in this video. <laughs> um, these are the Giorgio Armani Eyes to Kill. And some people refer to them as a cream. They're not a cream. They're, uh, um, they're a, a pressed powder pigment type of product. That they have a slick texture to them because of the, it's probably got a lot of, I want to say, I'm going to go with mica. It has that texture, but these things are stunning. I wish I could, I should open one up for you. I would spill, you guys. But this is black with red in it. And the thing about these here is you can actually apply them and they'll be two-tone. And instead of mixing into one color because there's two tones in the pots, you can actually see both colors in there. They're just, they're stunning. I love them. I, I wish, I wish I had them all. <laughs> here's the keys to this kingdom. <laughs> um, here's the second drawer. Another pretty spread out drawer here. These are lit glitters. This is just like a fun drawer of things that are, are really pretty, you know, for if you want to be bright and shiny, I suppose. Uh, these here are the, where are these? Two Face Glamour Dusts right here. Um, a little Makeup for Everyone and a Sephora one. These ones are Tarina Tarantino Lorac 3D Luster Drops. Some Illamasqua pigments. And then th these are Lancome just single shadows. Um, two Too Faced singles. An M little loose glitter which is stunning. A Sephora pot with it's got a glitter primer and then a glitter on the bottom which actually sprinkles beautifully over nail polish. And then a Stila single, I believe that's the infamous kitten. Uh, and then these are those Stila pigment guys, which this here makes actually a really beautiful blush as well. Uh, Estee Lauder single, Makeup Forever, Laura Mercier, uh, Sephora, Sephora. These are those, um, those deals that look really pretty. Come on, Tara, get it open. Okay. <laughs> they look like that. They have the same type of finish and texture as the MAC in Extra Dimensions, which, yeah, I don't think they have these anymore. But And then here are the Sephora, like, pillow cushiony ones that they used to do. These ones here are Laura Geller Baked uh, Shadows. And then these here are Sephora Duos. And then a Urban Decay Glitter Liner, Tar Tarina Tarantino Glitter Liner, Inglot. This is a MAC little glitter basey thingy jiggy. And then a little mini Sephora right there. Third drawer down here. These are all of my MAC eye products. So quads from various collections and then a few that I built back in the day over here. And then these are some limited edition ones these are the new these are the new mac mineralize mineralize um quads which i think are very pretty and then these here are mac pigments mac pigments from a christmas collection the crushed pigment thingies right here and then these ones are mac pigments uh limited edition regular shadows regular shadows in extra dimension shadows, Pearl Longwear shadows, the beautiful Marilyn Monroe, which they need to do a sequel to that collection because the packaging alone on that was worth <laughs> was worth um, getting. And then these are pressed pigments, and these ones here are baked. And then um, down to the big one here. Uh -huh. I love this. Um, this is Wet and Wild. I don't know what it is, man, but I sure enjoy collecting Wet n Wild. <laughs> um, here are the eight pans, and then also the ones they called uh, medleys on this side. Here are the Fergie quince, and then 
the this row and this row are the trios and then over here you have some of the older um, six pan palettes and then these are the newer uh, five pan or newer quince by Wet n Wild and then these are all singles right there and keys to the bigger box and then the next door down we have what is this here we have Maybelline quads and then these are the older quads <laughs> and then uh, some of the this is just a little eight pan one in the duo right here and then these are the newly packaged Maybelline ones which I'm not sure how I feel about those just yet um, I have to play around with them more they may be moving their way out I'm not sure yet um, and some Maybelline quince here I do like the formulas of these ones and these ones and these older ones I quite like as well but a little iffy on these newer ones I might have to break through the surface a little bit more to get them to perform better I'm not sure uh, these here are Rimmel these ones here are some old-school Revlon so this here piece right here is a nostalgia piece hardcore um, takes me back a good 10 years <laughs> um, these are the newer Revlon photo ready quads which these are nice too they kind of have a similar texture to the Maybelline ones these are L'Oreal quads the newer ones some of these are really nice some of them might be making their way out <laughs> um, there some of them are really nice some of them I do need to play with a little bit more and then here's some older ones and then a Project Runway one which is one of the more decent ones from the Project Runway uh, collection and then these here which are awesome are the hip duos right there which they're pretty doggone good and then a random Revlon quad right here which is newly bought and I've bought a couple of these before they always they don't they don't perform and this this one was a newer one and the colors looked quite pretty so I thought I'd give it a shot and I haven't yet but that's why you don't see very many of theirs. and then this drawer here is NYX um, these are the uh, what are they? Be free and be fierce palettes, and then the two the butt <laughs> the butt naked one, yeah, butt naked eyes, and turn the other cheek, and then the winter Moscow, a summer one, the newer Nyx Love in Paris nine pan, and then a little trio here, and then here is. Smoky. Oh, this is One Night in Morocco, and that's Winter in Moscow. I sound, that sounds so so much alike. A uh, natural palette there. These are the ten ten color shadow shadow ones from NYX right there. My arm is on fire from holding this camera. <laughs> um, this is the nude on nude. Wicked Dreams Dark Shadows. I bought this solely for the packaging because I dug the movie. It's just totally funky. You know, jo Johnny Depp. <laughs> I had to have that and then uh, waiting for tonight by NYX and then uh, I'm not gonna go through all of these ones but these are all Victoria's Secret right here these are new and I left them in the box which I never do that with makeup but this is just so pretty so yeah these are Victoria's Secret right here look at this one here this this bugger here is old right there Heidi Klum yeah so that's that drawer and then right here is Sigma yes Sigma and Sephora these little ones are Sephora they didn't fit over here there's probably some reorganization to be done I like feel like I'm always doing that but um, Sigma 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 what's this one that's the Tiffany D one the Paris palette which I quite like and the the oh, this is my favorite palette from Sigma the creme de couture palette I love it resort and then these two ones here which are okay and then I do like the newest one of these that came out geez my hand hopefully my camera's not shaking because my hand is smoke screen I do like the smoke screen palette right there and then here is Sephora palettes so these guys here are pretty pretty old um, Sephora and Pantone universe another Sephora and Pantone universe these are some baked ones that I got which are they're pretty decent um, but these ones here are pretty nice for the money these Sephora ones I b believe they still have them as well Ugh. Let's see here yeah this is what 
these ones look like. There are two of them that came out, but these are a pretty good deal for, for the money right there. So that is what these two are right here. There's the, yeah, there's the other one. And then Sephora and Pantone Universe. Um, these are the three new ones. Ah, uh, the newer ones that came out, like, that look like this, which aren't bad. Some of them can be a little fallout prone, like the deeper shades, but, um, they're really pretty colors, and they're not too expensive either. So that is those ones. Right there. Um, this is that palette, and another palette. And then these are the little ones that look like little shopping bags. This one was for, uh the breast cancer one and then I don't know which one that is this is a holiday palette uh, these are nice little palettes you guys check these little guys out and they're nice they have great pigmentation these little dudes right there I think they're like I want to say they're like 15 bucks which for the quality I think they're quite nice this is the only palette I want to say probably the only palette you'll see in my collection that I've tried and I, I can't stand it but I keep it. It was part of a kit and it is kind of a little bit of a nostalgic piece as well because I got it like, yeah, there's a story. But anyway, um, this this is what was the color of the year, tangerine, but it's horrible. <laughs> this is okay for a blush, this orange one, but the shadows are so dry and they don't, they're, yeah, anyway. Um, these are the Disney character quads, which, I mean, look at this packaging. That's the Ariel one. Isn't it gorgeous? Like, so pretty. I wish they wouldn't have didn't done away with the Disney princesses because I just think it was marvelous for them to do that. And then two little the Las Vegas Sephora shopping bag, which this little sucker here packs a lot of makeup for what it is. <laughs> See here, the sides come out too. And it's so tiny. And the quality ain't bad either. It totally can make it work. There's a bronzer in there. So that's that guy. Right there. These are really nice too if you guys can get a hold of them. the Well, they they do. They come out with, an, I swear, like two of them a year. But um, these are nice little quality palettes as well. Right there. From Sephora. Whoops. We'll just fix that later. <laughs> And then down here, which is the bottom drawer, I have some really large palettes that, well, they're large. <laughs> um, back here is a Sephora, I mean, not a Sephora, this is a Victoria's Secret palette. These are some old school Tokidokis that the tins are just little stunners. This here is a Lorac Christmas palette that came out, jeez, I want to say, probably three years ago. And then here is a Tarte palette, which... Ugh, I depotted the other one I managed because they're so big that, you know, you don't tend to reach for them a lot because of the way they are. And I can't figure out how to depot these because the plastic, the way that it's packaged is not like normal how you would depot something. And I don't want to wreck it, so I don't know. If anybody has depotted that and has any tips, love to know. Um, what is here? Coastal Scents. This is, what is this guy? This is BH Cosmetics. Coastal Scents. Um... These are crown palettes. This one here, these okay, and the, all the ones with the fingernail polish. I tried to like attempt to name them right. Those, <laughs> those are Coastal Scents, like the, the 88 ones and some, some of those, and then another Coastal Scents. Um, one of them is blush, and one of them is uh, eyeshadow. And then these are the little set that came in a set, the Go palettes, down here, right there. Okay, this is the top of the smaller pink chest here. I've got, what do we have? We have the Revlon Lip Butters back here. Those are the Rihanna Limited Edition lipsticks, which I don't like them back there. I'd like them to be out, but I just put these Lancome Rouge and Loves in front of them. Because <laughs> they're shorter. Uh, these ones here are the Maybelline Color Sensational Lipsticks, which... Out of all the lipsticks at the drugstore, I think these are, are my favorite. I don't particularly like the smell, but since they don't taste, I guess I don't mind as much. But I really like those lipsticks from the drugstore, and I also really like the Revlon Lip Butters as well. 
and then I think this section's kind of obvious. <laughs> These are um, MAC lipsticks. Um, they're just all mixed like the, the, what is this? A mateen? And then the, these kind, what are these ones? Um, Sheen Supremes are kind of around the, around the edge here. And then these are all MAC lipsticks, various limited edition, regular line, just a total mixture right there. And also right here, and then right in front here are my lovely Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxies. Yes, I love these lipsticks. I wish they would come out with some more fun colors because I adore them. My favorite one is missing because it's one's my purse and one's my pocket. <laughs> um, these here are the M lipsticks, which what, what I was telling you guys, if you do end up getting any of these, there's a little sticker on the box that you can... I peeled off and put on the bottom so that you can see the color. It makes it a little bit easier if you're trying to find one. And then these are Lime Crime uh, Too Faced right here, which the newer ones have stickers. The older ones do not. And then Sephora right there. And Urban Decay right there. Uh, over here we have... Oh, we're right here. Um... These are Kat Von D lipsticks. These are Cargo, the new Cargo lipsticks right there. Oh, uh, this one here is a Smashbox. This one here, oh, it's in pout. It's in the older packaging, Smashbox lipstick. I have two of these that are on their last, their last leg, but I just, I adore that lipstick. And the smell is the Vine. It's in the shade pout. I know there's one that, that's called pout in the newer, like the newer packaging, like, like this one. But for some reason, the color doesn't seem quite the same to me. A little NARS, my lonely only NARS lipstick. These ones are MAC Mineralize lipsticks. I got a fresh balm, which there's a big dent in it. I have no idea what happened there. These are Marc Jacobs lip sticks. And then, oh, I gotta switch arms. Who knew that the camera was that heavy if you had to hold it? <laughs> These ones here are Charlotte Tilbury. These are Bite Beauty right here. These here are the summer, the new summer ones that are still available from Tom Ford. Regular Tom Ford lipsticks and then two of the shines back there, which these are, these are, these are nice. Actually, there's a lipstick by Calvin Klein. One of these ones here. Oops. It looked like this that really mimics that one in Smitten. And then here are Estee Lauder right there. And two Dior ones. In the um, these are YSL glossy stains. Yeah, and then these are the the balmy ones. They're the three. <laughs> there's five of them, but they're the three different: the lipstick, the shinies, and the the other ones, the rouge velouté thingies. <laughs> um, here's a regular line YSL lipstick, um, a lone, a lone Burberry lipstick, and then these are the Chanel Rouge Allure, the Rouge Allure lipsticks, which I quite like, two Sh Shiseido lippies, um, a Laura Mercier, and then these, this is Inglot, no, these are Inglot lipsticks right here, and then there are two Illamasqua lipsticks right there. And then these here are my new Estee Lauder Pure Color Envy lipsticks, which, since they're magnetized, which is the same thing with these Marc Jacobs ones, they don't like to stick together because they all push each other apart. So they're always falling over, and I gotta keep them like that, or stuff them. See, like, see, they're separated. <laughs> That's what the magnets do. They they funk with the organization. Anyway, uh, lip liners right here. More lip liners. Good grief. Um, Mac lip liners in this back one. Over here is Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie lip liners that I like. Urban Decay lip liners, uh, Makeup Forever one right there. Uh, this one here has got Estee Lauder, Dior. Oh man, Elizabeth Arden. These these liners that look like this. These you guys are going to be seeing this in uh, upcoming favorites because they're pretty new. These are amazing. If I could turn all these lip colors into these formula, I'd do it. <laughs> but those are amazing. And then, um, 
Chanel. This one here has got Clinique, a little NYX liner that I love, and then Charlotte Tilbury pencil. What's this one? Uh, Lancome. And then the Makeup Forever ones in there. And then back this, back this bad boy up here. Uh, this is the top drawer of this cabinet, which I don't have any business buying lip gloss, you guys, for real. I hardly ever wear it. Yeah, it's, I need, I need to, yeah. Anyway, a lot of these are limited edition ones. I just went through these, like, a couple weeks ago and ditched a bunch. Because lip gloss is one of those things that I, even though this is like an old one, it's like been opened maybe once and used once and still, I, I smell them and check them out, you know. Anyway, they're still good. So these ones here are MAC. MAC this is and that's. <laughs> um, some more MAC ones and then Buxom and then Marvelous Moxies and Lorac and more mini Marvelous Moxies. <laughs> Sounds funny, mini Marvelous Moxies. Okay, these little tart ones were from the holiday collection. And then these guys right here are Kat Von D, and these are <laughs> these are um, these are nostalgic, and they smell exactly the same and look exactly the same as when I got them a while ago. But the thing of it is, and I have them, is I can open this up and smell it, and it takes me back, man. It just and it's it's yeah, I just lo I love the smell of these, and they still smell the same. And those are nostalgic; they don't really get used. <laughs> um, Buxom right here and then more mini Marvelous Moxies right over yeah I don't have business buying lip gloss you guys at least I yeah anyway this here is samples um, the tray which I forgot to mention in the other video this here is actually by Viper Tool Storage it, it I bought it at Sears it was on like clearance or something but it had the same sticker like they said the pink, the original pink box was the sticker on it, so it, it's made from the same company. So I don't know, you know, you might want to do a little search or check your Sears for them, but that's what this is. And there's just a bunch of little mini samples in here, like this. Look at these. Look at this. Mini, mini tiny little YSL, a little itty bitty. You guys check this out. Look at this lipstick. Which, because I think that if I ever had to travel super light, i just have to go in here. Because I could pack a pretty small makeup bag. But isn't that cute? Yeah, little Dior lip stick. I believe I got that with, like, Sephora VIB or something like that. But, so cute. So, yeah. And then little, I don't know, little BB creams, which I love this Dr. Dart one. This is a foundation. I have the full-size one I need to try yet. Um, Yeah in there and then sachets of things in there that's a sample drawer and then this next one is lipsticks okay wait here this pulls out further just a minute so on this half there's mostly drugstore lipsticks you can see in the back there i did you recycle some old or some mac boxes because there is a bit of a lip on there and for products this small and since they're so tall um one row would possibly, you know, get lost in the darkness. <laughs> so I put those back there so that it holds it um, together. And then I did the same thing right here to hold them real tight together so they're not falling over and stuff like that. Um, these are Wet n Wild Fergie lipsticks. These are the other Wet n Wild lipsticks. Uh, NYX Rimmel. What's this? Oh, a J-Cat. This came in an Ipsy bag. Um... This is this is a nostalgic right here. Maybelline lipstick, which those used to be my favorites. This A51 uh, called Pink Bloom. I must have went through, I don't know, 50 tubes of that stuff. There was one laying everywhere, which there's a new Maybelline lipstick that replaced that one. Now those are laying everywhere. <laughs> but um, these are the regular line Wet n Wild's uh, maybe Revlon. Revlon lipsticks right here. Uh, CoverGirl lipsticks right here, which are pretty decent. These are the Maybelline, the Maybelline, what are these little dudes called? Whispers, right there. Um, 24, or 14? 14. 14 hour lipsticks by Maybelline, which these are really nice. I actually really like the smell of those too. And then these are Maybelline, no, 
I lied. These are L'Oreal balms. And these are the L'Oreal lipstick style ones right there. These here are the new L'Oreal Extraordinaires, right? Yeah, Extraordinaire lipsticks, which those are really nice. I don't, I'm not particularly keen on the smell of those or the new Maybelline ones like this, which, where are they? I think they're in a bag. No, they're not. They're right here. I'm not keen on the smell of these either, but by golly, they sure got a nice formula. Yeah, these, so these are the new Maybelline guys right there. And then there is... <laughs> I was in Vegas this past summer, and they were just finishing up a new Walgreens across from the Aria, and they sell Gosh in there. And so I got Gosh Darling right? Is that what it's called? Yeah. Gosh Darling. Specifically from Lollipop. What is it? 26? You guys remember her? Laura? Um, she loved that lipstick and I bought it solely for that because she was always talking about it and we don't have, we didn't have Gosh around here and then I just randomly ran across the line in, in Las Vegas at a Walgreens. <laughs> um, so well, these ones here are Flower. Uh, these are Victoria's Secret. These ones here are the Milani, which they smell like watermelon, but I don't really, I don't know. There's something about smell I don't particularly like but they don't taste so I can deal and then some more random glosses in here and a sleek lipstick sleek pout paint uh, in gloss like I said I have no business buying gloss I do really like these these guys right here these Sigma ones this formula is is pretty nice for gloss it's not sticky and they seem to last pretty good on the lips for not being a really sticky gloss and I, I think both these colors are pretty cool one is in Hint, and the other one is in 11. And then there's two really tall tart lipsticks back here that I'm not particularly keen on that formula either. Um, these might be making their way out. A Kaylin one that came in, an Ipsy Sephora Tangerine Lipstick, a Tarte one butter, butter lipstick. These are Sephora and Pantone glosses, which are pretty cool, and they smell like vanilla. These ones are mini mini Kat Von D's, which are the cutest things in the universe, right? Look at this little lipstick. What's this color? It's called, um, Ritual. Yeah, but these came in a holiday set as well. Well, that's those guys. These are, these are M Lip palettes which are pretty cool because like if you're say you just want a purple lip and you're not sure the tone you can totally custom do your your tone which these are pretty neat and they come with a lip lip brush too in there so that's that one I really love this purple one and I took the stickers off again from the boxes and I used the Mod Podge <laughs> uh, to make the stickers stay on the back so that they're you know I can see see every one of them I don't even have to open them and I'll know which one is which with the sticker on the back which I just think they should kind of do that anyway but this is a Too Faced lip primer, and this thing here will make your lips feel like you uh, they're gonna fall off, which I don't really use it that much because it's usually like cayenne pepper or some extremely irritating ingredients that make your lips feel fat. So this one here is Mac Lip Erase, which I thought I needed that for some reason, and I still haven't used it. Um, these are lip tars, which. The colors are beautiful. They, they're they everything everybody raves about, but to be honest, uh, they're kind of a pain in the rear to use. They're kind of a pain to travel with and stuff, but the colors are gorgeous, and they can be a little bit messy on the lips as well. So not ideal for, in my opinion, they're not ideal for all day. You know, it's a lot handier to put on a, I don't know, a tube of lipstick, but they are really gorgeous little dailies. So that is the top chest on the pink one. So going into the top drawer on the bottom chest of this smaller pink one, this is this is more blush and highlighters. Um, over here there's actually bronzers as well. These are all loose mineral face stuff. These are Splash, which I was contemplating them moving them out of the collection, but you know, I have fudge sticks. I start opening them up and the colors are so stunning. They're just so stunning, I couldn't do it. <laughs> um, these are from Lily Lolo. These are really gorgeous mineral blushes. Um, and then pretty much the rest of these are all bare minerals, except for I think these one, this is a face front one. 
and random. We'll just call him random. Uh, but yeah, Bare Minerals bronzers, highlighters, and blushes here, which I was obsessed with Bare Minerals a good seven, eight years ago. Uh, yeah, I had, I felt like I had to have every color. But anyway, um, still really gorgeous stuff. A lot of, a lot of them have moved their, moved their way out, and these are some fairly newer ones. But uh, let's see here. Oh, these are Everyday Minerals highlight colors, which for the longest time, this one here, where is it? Pearl Beige, um, I, I don't know if it's called a, I think it was in the concealer category on the site, but that for the longest time was my go-to highlighter, and yeah, these are Everyday Minerals, and then 100% Pure Blush that I also got, that Walgreens in Vegas, because they sold that line, that's a pretty, if you guys are in Vegas, man, go check out that Walgreens across from the Aria, it's got some, some lines that not every Walgreens carries, it's not like the Walgreens on the other end of the strip. Okay, yeah, anyway. These are, I just got these at Walmart because people were saying they were di being discontinued and they were really good. The Fox in a Box from Hard Candy. And they're really gorgeous blushes, but the packaging is not good. They don't shut. <laughs> um, these here are, they're the Milani, one of those rose deals, which I actually make use for as a blush, not like a highlighter or anything. These are the newer rose blushes from Milani and then one is an older one that I desperately got off eBay because I didn't I don't got a Walgreens around here so I didn't get to have any and I didn't know you know I didn't know, think they were going to come out with them again so I thought I should have one in my collection and I so there's five there because one's an older one and then two of the older Milani baked blushes and then these are the newer matte baked blushes which hello beautiful um Positions Formula. These are beautiful. Um, I love this blush here. I love this Physicians Formula line with the blue. They have SPF 30 in them. They're stunning products. Anyway, another mineral Physicians. Physicians. These are Physicians. Um, Maybelline here. And then two Hard Candy blushes, which are beautiful. And Wet n Wild blushes back here. These are e.l.f. blushes. These ones here are sleek blushes, which the packaging on sleek stuff is, well, it's sleek. <laughs> I really like the packaging. It's so nice and easy to store their line. So that one is in Flamingo. Such a such a cute line. I ordered those off the website. They have great shipping. It's not that expensive either. And really good stuff from sleek. Uh, Wet n Wild Highlight c c c Cover Revlon. Revlon Highlighter. That's a Femme Couture from Sally's Jane, which, ugh, that's borderline on its way out because it's a bit too dark for me for a highlight. A hard candy one, that might be on its way out. Uh, Physicians Formula, a Revlon one. This was in a limited edition collection, which that's really beautiful. A Pixie one and Sigma. And then City Color, Be Matte. They came in an Ipsy bag this past month. So that is that drawer. And then this drawer you guys may have seen already in the room tour video. This is a, another blush drawer. I have no business buying blush ever again in my life either. <laughs> I gotta kneel for this because I can't be bending over like that too long. Um, okay. Over here is Laura Geller. Laura Geller. Mineral blushes, which I got most of those on Hot Look except for I think this one, which is beautiful. These are Lorac baked blushes and then a little guy right here. Sigma um, creme de couture. Love these blushes. These are these are beautiful. This here, you guys, this is beautiful. <laughs> I really like that collection. Um, so that's those guys. And then back here are Benefit block boxed blushes. And then... These here are the Balm and the Balm In Stain Cheek Stains right here. And then here, Sonia Kashuk, a Sephora one that came in the color of the year, I think Mandarin. Was it Mandarin? Tangerine collection. Uh, Sephora blushes. And then back here are Cargo and Tarte, which I love Tarte's packaging being color coordinated how easy is it to pick a color right 
I still have them backwards though so that if I need to read the name on the back it's it's even easier yet and then this here is one of those steel pigments in what does that say lyric stunning stunning beautiful blush I love I, that's why it's in the blush drawer and then in the back here are two rain ones which one of these rain ones is a baby pink I think is this one hopefully it's this one and it's so beautiful it's one of my favorite blushes come on Tara go go magic hand right there we go yeah so that's what that looks like it is so beautiful it is in the color peep show <laughs> I'll, I'll put that back later um stila these are bare minerals right here bloxum which are also bare minerals blushes another one a victoria's secret baked blush a little Too Faced guy, and then these here are the Too Faced Sweethearts blushes. Um, an Edward Best blush. This is a Clarins blush in 01, which is beautiful. And then La Rosa Ray by Lancome. Look at this, you guys. Stunning product. I always just use that half because it's obviously an overspray, but... Just think how beautiful it would have been if they if it would have been been like the overspray side like that. Gorgeous, right? That and then a in love blush, Inglot. These are Clinique. This is old school. This is nostalgic. This is beautiful. I have it purely for whoops. Do what I did. Um, purely for nostalgic reasons, right there. And it's still totally functional. It smells fine. It's old, but I love it. It is in blushing bronze. I love this thing. Take me back. <laughs> um, this I solely bought because of the Pixie Woo sisters. They use it in a video, Tuxedo Plums, and it is also by Clinique right there. Um, Cargo Blu-ray blush. These here are Victoria's Secret. This is a Smashbox blush in Prism, I think, right? Yes. Okay, this is uh, top 10 for me. And then we have got Kat Von D blushes right here everything's you guys will notice everything's backwards and stuff like that so I can it's easy to read the names flip through them you know uh, Gemma Kid uh, Stila this is in your face hello oh, come on oh, this is these that is that one <laughs> a Becca blush which is another this is a this is a top 15er right there in gypsy I think yeah, Inglot, and then little love bugs right here are the Clinique cheek pop blushers, and then a Bobbi Brown blush, which it's a really pretty color, but when you get it on, it deepens to a deeper pink, which that always drives me insane. So I usually mix it with a white powder, but um, Estee Lauder, one of those little special compacts. This is really pretty in there as well. Ugh. These ones here, they got, this poor Estee Lauder, they got moved out of the other drawer. It got full. Anyway, this one here is Kevin, these are Kevin Aquan. These are Estee Lauder. And these are more Estee Lauder. These are like the shimmery, shimmery dudes right there. And then one of them is one of those, um, yeah, one of those, uh, what do they call those, ombre ones? Really pretty. Kind of like, you know, how the MAC, the MAC guys do it and then these here are limited edition from bronze goddess from years I don't know three years of Estee Lauder which I love all three of them they're really really pretty so there's that one one's got a starfish and the other one just has a coral center which I really love those so that is that's that drawer we'll fix that we'll fix that later um working one-handed here this is an overflow kind of a drawer things that are big here let me turn this light on let's see if we can get some more light going on up in here there um yeah overflow drawer with things that are quite large and don't fit nicely in they don't play nice with others <laughs> in the back there's some random bare mineral uh, glitter powders which i like to spark on my neck or decollete these are crushed um charlotte tilbury blushes which i tried to savor and it's just you know it's just not the same that they're completely shattered as if they were in a compact which is sad um a random elf glow powder and then sephora and pantone universe these are both really nice and so is this there's a highlighter in here that is stunning 
this highlighter in here is beautiful. So is the blush. So is the bronzer. <laughs> it's pretty nice. Um, let's see. Oh, Too Faced No Makeup Palette, which is decent but doesn't get a lot of love. Naked Flushed. These are BH Cosmetics blushes, which I, I bought these off a of Hot Look. I think they came in a set, and I, I wanted them for this guy right here because there's a beautiful pink blush in there. But the other ones are pretty too. And then these are the Blush by 3s from Sleek. Again, I love their packaging. It's just so sleek. <laughs> uh, Face Form is in here too, which is a bronzer highlight and a blush. But these are these are cool, man. Let's see here. Um, yeah. This one's got a cream blush in it. But just, man, you, Sleek is some good stuff for the price. It's just, I, I, I like them. <laughs> uh, Pixie Disc right here, which is beautiful. A Trina Tarantino 4 blush quad. This is a Bare Minerals um, bronzer type. And then my mom got me this for Christmas years back. It's a Clinique palette. Oh, it looks like that. And it works It works beautifully. Um, the mascara and the eyeliner actually have never been opened. And then this is the newer one from this year that I got. Because I bought... I think I was buying face spray again. But that's what that looks like. Those are the new formulated Clinique shadows, which are fabulous. And then this is an e.l.f. high def powder shimmer that's actually really pretty. And some pixie blushes. This used to be one of my faves right here. It is in number... I never see this one in Target anymore. I don't know why. Number one. And then these are Bare Minerals Holiday Palettes, which... See this camera? Hi! Um, I want to depot them because they're really big and I think I would use them more if I could put all three of these in one and then take the gloss and the liners out. Probably break something. Um, another holiday palette. These here are from Cargo. I recently placed an order on Hot Look and a lot of the blushes were like detached from the pans so... I was like, prime time, alright, we're going to turn this into a summer blush palette, which is what I did. And Cable Beach is actually in here, which I love to use this as a bronzer. It gives you the burnt, I just got off the beach look, <laughs> which I do dig sometimes, and then some other blushes. And then I just used sticky notes to name them on the box. I'll just set that over here for now. And then some depotted NYX blushes and one of my... Physicians Formula Powders and a Clinique Powder in there. Um, a Guerlain Powder, my favorite highlighter. One of them from Physicians Formula. And then an e.l.f. Cool Powder. <laughs> I have these in there because I use to travel with, you know, one of these palettes. And then I pull this, this powder and put it in here. Does it fit? Maybe it doesn't even fit. Anyway, that was my intention. And then this is the Holiday Tarte Palette right here. Ta -da. Um, Jeez, I'm making a big mess. We'll have to just fix that later for the sake of the video. <laughs> um, the next drawer here is a random guy. These here are um, color pigments. There's, I think, mica, titanium dioxide, and then um, these are mica pigments because I was into making stuff. <laughs> I actually formed a doggone beautiful lilac purple blush because Back in the day, those were very hard to come by. Um, my little Chikahoto travel set. More of those pigment guys. Uh, Chikahoto brush roll. The Sigma Bunny collection. The brushes are actually in there too. Because they should just stay in there. They're safer. <laughs> um, this is a really gorgeous little brush set from Sephora. Uh, Kat Von D. Kat Von D. I got this on sale. I had, I don't know, I had, I had bought the set full size and then I saw one on sale and I don't know why I bought it, but, um, Sephora and Pantone Universe brush set, two of, two of them right there. And then these are just really beautiful Too Faced makeup bags that came out years ago that I just think that they're gorgeous. And then there's another Sephora Pantone brush set. And then this little dude here is awesome for jewelry. I like to use it when I'm traveling for jewelry. Isn't that cute? And there is a, another mini Sephora brush set and magnets for Z palettes and the Z palette. Whoops. Right there. So that is that drawer. And this drawer is a mess. Kind of a mess. 
um, more brush stuff. There's brush cleanser and conditioners like right here. This is the Sunny Kashuk brush set. I recently got this because I just saw so many people posting beautiful pictures with these brushes on Instagram. So I bought it and you know I gotta tell you the brush the hair quality is terrible. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about this guy. And that's on sale I think half price at Target right now. Some Real Techniques uh, brushes. Sigma travel sets. There's that Kat Von D box because the brushes are actually in somewhere else. Sigma Extravaganza, which is, I'm sorry to say, the real hair brushes on that are junk. Um, uh, Bubby Brushes br brush roll. Uh, Sonny Kashuk Eco Tools. These in here are, these are great brushes. These are a bunch of brushes from Everyday Minerals right here, which are awesome. And I just keep them in there because they're all nice and clean. And then some Sigma brush rolls, a blend brush set, got on hot look, uh, Victoria's Secret. The brushes in there are actually synthetic and they're really soft, so that's good. And a little Bare Minerals one, and a little Pixie guy right there. That one. So that is the end of part one of the collection video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, stay tuned for part two. Do not forget to wear sunscreen, and I will see you guys later. Bye.